and our annual charity event, where Galactic Guardians perform amazing acts to raise money for our juniors in training. We pledge to do our duty so we can be just like the Atomic Betty. Power, power, decision, teamwork! teamwork. No. <laughs> oh. Their training has just begun, but thanks to you, we've raised a thousand Zirconian gemstones. Shouldn't you be guarding those gems? They're perfectly safe. The box is locked, and I have the only key right here in my pocket. Excuse me. I can't find my seat. This area is high security. We'll have to see your backstage pass. Oh, Kratos. It's a Junior Galactic <laughs> Guardian X5. You know, the future hero of the universe. It's the chameleon! <laughs> I'll take that, thank you very much. We better call the captain. Percy's going to win first prize this year, I just know it! You know Penelope entered Poopsie again. She's dressed him like some kind of building. Ta-da! The Eiffel Tower! Ooh la la! <laughs> Poopsie is sure to win his third trophy in a row. Wow. You think so? Well, I think our Percy will give you a little competition. Percy's going as Marie Antoinette. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Oops. Naughty, Poopsie, naughty. <laughs> Percy's costume. There's a big stain on it. I'll try to get it out with some water. Atomic Betty, it's Admiral De Gill. I need you to proceed at once to the planet Zymar. The chameleon is back. Hmm. Uh... <clears throat> yes, sir. It's Atomic Betty! <laughs> we have a crisis at hand. I'm certain the chameleon is after the Zirconian gemstones. We should shut the circus down. Try to find him. Oh, it's too late for that. We'd panic the audience and have to give back the gemstones. No, the show must go on. But those jewels must be protected. I have an idea. Sparky, X5 and I are all galactic guardians. We'll join the circus's performers and guard the gemstones undercover. Hmm, you can be a lizard tamer. Hmm, okay. I'll perform on the galactic trapeze. And you, X5, will be... Clown. One of those ludicrous creatures who falls down all the time? I don't think so. I'm no clown. <laughs> that costume just laughed at me. Again, that was Atomic Roger and his amazing sword swallowing. Good job, Roger. Thank you, sir. We present our next feat of the day, the fearless fire-belching lizard tamer! Stop shaking. At least your costume isn't an embarrassment. <laughs> Remember, as long as you don't startle lizards, they can be quite gentle. <laughs>
is not what I had in mind. You burnt my fat atomic Betty! There, Percy. We'll just have to improvise. You can go as a pirate! Pit of ravenous tinsel vipers, Atomic Betty will perform on the galactic trapeze. Stop sulking. We have to stop the chameleon. It doesn't matter if the lizards didn't like you. The audience was laughing. At the costume, there was no appreciation of wit. Just this ridiculous outfit that does tricks every time you say the word clown. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> Yes, I see. Why is he all tied up? Chief! <laughs> Captain, look out! <laughs> hmm. with my plans one too many times. Now it's payback. <laughs> Okay. Excuse me, over here, clown trick. will be safe in the future. It's a challenge, <laughs> Here, no more clown tricks for me. Thanks for the help. I've got to run. I have to go to another show back on Earth. You'll have to compete as a woman, Percy. Oh. It's all I can think of. Mom, I did my best. I don't think you can see the stain anymore. Losers. Hey, that's not fair. That's Percy's costume. <gasps> oh, is it? Oh, it's hopeless. Percy will never win. Don't be so sure. 
That's amazing! Honey, where did you get that clown costume? <laughs> I've never seen anything like it before. It's from... out of town. And now, our final trick of the day. Let me out! <laughs> Let me out of here! Shouldn't the chameleon be in jail? Why rush things? Let him finish his act. Honored <laughs> 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 guardians and hyper intelligent species, it is with great pleasure that I award this year's Mastermind Medal to the universe's greatest genius, Dr. Baloo Thank you for honoring my years of study into the habits of the bizarre cement-eating Nard Gorilla. I only wish I could show you how thrilled I am to... <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> Fools, I... Dr. Cerebral and the greatest genius in the universe. Behold, with one shot from my stupefactor ray, your mastermind is reduced to a hopeless nincompoop. straightened up the garage. Can I have my allowance now? Here you go. Five bucks? Yep. At this rate, it's gonna take me forever to get the bike I want. Tell you what, you keep working hard. I'll see what I can do about that bike. Really? So what can I do next? Here you go. <sighs> there must be an easier way to earn a bike. <gasps> Get up it, Betty. This is Admiral de Gill. We need your help at once. A deranged madman named Dr. Cerebral is shrinking the brains of our most intelligent beings using a weapon called the Stupefactor Ray. <laughs> that was the great genius, Dr. Balubaloop. And it's not just him. Look what Cerebral's done to the wise, spindly Tam Kanushu. He must be stopped. I'm on the case, sir. We have to stop Dr. Cerebral and his evil ray. I ain't afraid of no stupid fact to ray. It wouldn't affect me one bit. That's because you have to have a brain in order to be affected. Yes, because... Are you saying I'm not smart? What gave you that idea? Greetings, Atomic Betty. I invite you to surrender to me now. Your brain is no match for my stupendous intellect. Oh, yeah? If you're so smart, why is there gum stuck to your dome? <laughs> <laughs> Good one, Chief. <laughs> Laugh if you want. Let's see if your puny brain can figure out this clue. In all the galaxies, I'm going where there are the most stars. <laughs> Behold! The best minds in the galaxy! And I, Dr. Cerebral, will stupefy them all! And anyone who tries to stop me! I'm happy to report that I have calculated the answer to the riddle. The largest cluster of stars in the universe is the Nexus Nebula. The largest group of stars I ever saw was at a movie opening on Celebra! Dr. Cerebral is a genius. He was talking about celestial objects. Well, maybe he likes movies or popcorn. Did you ever think of that? Wait a minute. I think Sparky's right. Chart a course for Celebra. Huh. Keep your eyes peeled for anything unusual. You mean besides a stampeding robotic rhino? Whoa! Help! Run away, rhino! Controls, uh, you, you fired! fired. <laughs> <laughs> Who I? Antoine Luch! 
Yoshi, Shinny as a filmmaker, celluloid visionary, have to do everything myself! Whoa! Help! Thanks. Now I'm gonna do it again. <laughs> Up there, it's Dr. Cerebral! <laughs> Dad! Oh, who is this that tampers with genius? It's shocking! <laughs> that is the idea. Say goodbye to your mind, Atomic Betty. Oh, no! <laughs> ah! <clears throat> my brain! Oh, my precious brain! I'll be back for you later, Atomic Betty! Betty's been working so hard lately, I think we should get her that bike. You're right. She's earned it. I want to go shopping anyway. Now? Now? Sparky! He's been stupefied! Are you sure? How can you tell? Not now, X5. Sparky, say something! Something! <laughs> he seems normal to me. Okay, maybe not. That's the last straw. No one stupefies <laughs> a member of my crew. It's time we turn the tables on that so-called genius. Bah, Atomic Betty, the only one in the universe who has so far eluded my capacious cranium. I'll give you another chance to stupefy me. You! You cracked my dome! These are expensive, you know. Solve this riddle. Roses are red, violets are blue. I'll be amazed if you can follow this clue. Ta-ta! <laughs> X5, are you sure we can beat Dr. Cerebral through this maze? Positively. I've studied the maze schematics. I know how to avoid all the traps. And I have my lucky cheese! Mm -hmm. Oh, there it is. Oh. Right. Sparky, just don't forget the trap at the end. A trap? There's a trap? Good thing I'm a space gopher. Just take care of him. Uh -huh. Mazeopolis, the answer was simple, you foolish little girl. You're no match for a brain like mine. Sparky! <laughs> <laughs> you think running into the maze will save you? I have legs under this dome. I, Dr. Cerebral, have already figured out the entire maze layout and identified a shortcut to the end. <laughs> Is this their idea of a trap? How pathetic. We made it. Where's Cerebral? in a cage! Prepare to be stupefied. Now! <laughs> we got him! Now how do we get out of this cage? <laughs> Ah! 
<laughs> Captain, I've reconfigured the stupefactor ray gun to fire in reverse, effectively restoring people's lost brain power. Observe. <laughs> hey! Who took my lucky cheese? Not much difference, is there? Admiral DeGill, Dr. Cerebral has been stupefied and we have the ray. We'll return everyone back to normal. Please hurry. Dr. Baloopaloo just ate my desk. <laughs> <laughs> For me? That sure is! It's for all the housework you've been doing! <laughs> wow! Thanks! Yeah! Betty! What is the meaning of this? It wasn't me! Here's your culprit. <gasps> Percy? Whoa! Look on the bright side, Mom. Think of all the money I can make cleaning up Percy's mess. <laughs> Yeah!